Hi friends, this is Sabapati. I'm going to give you a small video presentation on uh, the piping kit installation and the commissioning of uh, hydraulic rock breaker. Uh, this uh, rock breaker is uh, made by Dosco India Private Limited and this particular model is very popular uh, in the market and uh, customers are uh, very well aware about the performance of this product and they are happy to so you just see uh, there are two uh, metal pipes installed on the arm this is a jcb 3dx standard model you can see the pipe routing from arm to boom there is a minimal welding actually i have not shot a video <coughs> while welding the clamps and the positioning the clamps on uh, each location it might uh, consume uh, more time instead of that after uh, completing the welding and just started the installation of uh, a tube and hoses just shot these videos and uh, if you follow the videos uh, second by second then we come to know the horses are coming from where and connecting to where. This is the hammer block or the flow divider block we come from. It is uh, mounted on a bracket and, it, and the bracket is welded on the frame. This hammer block is uh, connected in between uh, the two control valves in series connection I hope you can understand what is a series connection there is already uh, from the hydraulic pump there is already hose connection uh, connecting to uh, front loader control valve and they are uh, connecting to uh, back to control valve the hose connecting these two control valves is removed and uh, the hammer block is positioned in between. I mean, uh, for the sake of uh, a schematic only, but the location might differ. The boom and the arm is moved to know uh, the host position and the orientation is correct or not. If there is any correction required, it can be done. Uh, at the beginning stages itself. This is a standard JCB 3DX model. I can refer to the nameplate for further for the more details. On the left side of the back of attachment, pressure line is connected because uh, the pressure port lies on the left on this DOSCA 430A model the talented and hard-working service team of Dosco India Private Limited. We are going to check and uh, regulate the hydraulic pressure that is required for this particular breaker model. You can see 190 bar, it is already preset on the hammer block. It should be adjusted uh, somewhere in between 170 to 180 bar. And it will be tested before uh, setting it. The pressure is adjusted on the hammer block that is a really for mounted. Small adjustments and uh, finding out the pressure. And if the pressure is uh, set to the desired value then uh, the adjustment is over. You can see it is set to 108. Please get to know what are the walls and where it is located. This one, what I am showing now, is the flow adjuster. This is a solenoid wall. It 
will magnetize the inner part so finally Dasco 430A breaker with 75 mm diameter chisel and the length of the chisel is 700 mm we have to remove the bucket from the machine then we, we have to attach the breaker to the machine uh, before attaching the breaker we will uh, have to check the nitrogen pressure nitrogen pressure can be checked at any point of time but uh, uh, for the conveniency we will check before uh, installing on the machine because uh, the breaker is already uh, not yet installed so uh, we have enough space and conveniency in checking it bucket pins are removed the dummy on the nitrogen charging valve is removed please refer to the name plate details dosco 430a breaker box type frame the extension hex nipple is mounted on the charging valve and nitrogen pressure gauge setup is being tightened in this wall you will find a small uh, pressure release screw and uh, one port to connect the nitrogen cylinder in case if we want to charge nitrogen gas into the breaker back head. So the screw is tightened. It is 18 bar. So it is more than what it, it is supposed to be. So it is adjusted to 15 bar, slightly more than 15. Let us see the performance. First the main pin that connect, connects the breaker and the arm that is fitted. Following, following to that the push link pin For installing the tool, all the dumb, dummy plugs are removed on both the sides, top side and bottom side. Top side and bottom side, the dummy plugs are removed so that the rod pin can be easily removed. There is a snap ring. With the help of plier, the snap ring is taken out. With the help of, of a double pin, the stop pin which, which is holding the rod pin is being hammered and uh, the rubber plug is thrown away. Yeah. And this is the stop pin. Okay. The rod pin has fallen. Just grease the rod pin contact area. Only high temperature grease should be used. After applying the slight amount of grease on the chisel, lift the chisel and place it on inside the front head. Place the groove at the proper place. Check for the groove position, adjust the chisel, then keep the rod stop pin ready and put the rod pin inside. 
hold the rod pin from the bottom then place the stop pin the rubber plug is now installed it's done it's time to connect the breaker main hoses remove the dummy plugs on the sides of the frame by using a long screwdriver it's chai time Let's have a tea. The left side pressure line hose is connected. Check the tightness. On the right side rotor line. That is also nearing completion. Before connecting uh, these hoses, uh, flushing of the system was carried out. About 5 minutes the machine has operated and just uh, flushing is there. This is a grazing hole. You can see the lock valves are in open position. There is an arrow mark indicator. As you see it is in open condition. Press the breaker and check for working pressure. What is the working pressure now? Let's see. Hundred and ten to hundred and thirty. It seems it is fluctuating in between hundred and ten bar to hundred and thirty bar. It has to be the breaker has to be given for fill the testing. Then only uh, any adjustment on pressure and flow can can be further confirmed. A small glance about the Onan Hydro Machines Chennai. We have a hydraulic press machine, 100 ton capacity, and some other facilities also. We have water wash facility also. We have a hydraulic wash crimping machine here. It's a very fine logo we got. That was a cylinder hydraulic cylinder assembly disassembly bench and we have few breakers for overhauling jcb j is 81 excavator for some track work and uh, seal change work You're welcome mr anbar is the owner of the machine is taking a picture with his brother Mr. Tamil Arsan in white shirt. Vasco 438, his customer is very happy. That's why he has bought the second breaker. And few video shots about the clamping. Thank you friends, thanks for watching the full video. If you have any comments, please let me know. If you have uh, any specific uh, requirement of making videos related to breakers or excavators, please let me know. I will try to cover it. Thank you.